For some people, a car serves as a means to get from point A to point B without walking. For other people, they want the cream of the crop when it comes to their ride. Here are some of the most luxurious car brands to choose from, just in case you have the money to spare. Hey guys, it's your host for today, American Eye. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to Tall Tannic, and if you like today's content, be sure to check out my channel, American Eye. We'll see you there. Mercedes S-Class The S in S-Class stands for Sunderklass, which is German for Special Class. Mercedes S-Class vehicles are medium-sized luxury flagship cars made by Mercedes-Benz. This German automaker introduced S-Class to the market in 1972. The first ever model was the W116. The S-Class series was the first to incorporate airbags and three-point seatbelts, something that is now standard. A subcategory of S-Class known as S-Guard includes armored cars, which can withstand small arms fire and even certain types of explosives. At least 90 governments in the world are known to use S-Guard vehicles to transport government officials. Porsche Panamera Porsche, another German automobile company, was founded in 1931 in Stuttgart, Germany. Currently, Volkswagen AG owns them. Porsche did not introduce their full-size luxury vehicles known as the Porsche Panamera until 2009 at the Auto Shanghai International Automobile Show. So far, it is the only sedan that Porsche has made to expand its market. The name Panamera derived from the famous racing event called the Carrera Panamerica. This took place in Mexico from 1950 to 1954. These cars come in four colors, white, carbon gray metallic, mahogany metallic, black, and basalt. Not very colorful, but people seem to love it anyway. Thus far, Panamera has won all the comparison tests against other four-door performance cars on the market. Rolls-Royce Phantom The Rolls-Royce Phantom is one of the most luxurious cars in history. In 1998, BMW obtained the rights to use Rolls-Royce name and logo. Rolls-Royce introduced the first Phantom in 1925 and produced it until 1931. Dancing and acting extraordinaire, Fred Astaire famously owned one of these and he kept it for 20 years. Other celebrities such as Elvis, David Beckham, and Michael Jackson own some as well. There have been eight Phantoms in the past 92 years, not counting all the special editions. The Phantom 8 had high praise upon its release. A car and driver review described the Phantom 8 as freakishly quiet. No wonder they call it the Phantom. Lexus LS Lexus is Toyota's luxury division. If you look closely at the Lexus insignia, you can tell that it's quite similar to Toyota's. Lexus was founded in 1989 and marketed to over 70 countries. Interestingly, Lexus became the first Japanese premium car mark to launch in its country of origin when inaugurated dealership in the Japanese domestic market, also known as the JDM. Lexus introduced its full-size luxury sedan, the Lexus LS, the same year Lexus was founded. It is the first model they developed, with LS meaning luxury sedan. However, others refer to it as the luxury saloon. Range Rover Range Rover landed on the market in 1970 and its production continues today. Formerly known as the Land Rover Range Rover, it's a full-size luxury SUV. It began with the Rover Company, which is now technically Land Rover. In 1958, the Rover Company experimented with a larger model of their then-series, the Land Rover. They put the idea on the back burner until 1966. The first-generation Range Rover was manufactured between 1970 and 1996. As of 2012, the Range Rover is in its fourth generation. In 2005, the Range Rover received some backlash for those concerned with its carbon footprint or tire print. The concerns stem from mostly the negative impact that manufacturing these large vehicles has on the environment. Lamborghini Veneno Lamborghini sells some of the most expensive cars in the world. This famous luxury brand has been producing luxury sports cars and SUVs since 1963. They launched the Lamborghini Aventador in 2011 and continued to build units until 2017. It premiered at the 2011 Geneva Motor Show a few months after its initial unveiling in Italy. Lamborghini named this mid-range sports car after a famous fighting bull. The Cadillac Escalade The Escalade was Cadillac's first major SUV introduced in 1999. Three years later, Cadillac gave the Escalade a makeover so that it would fit Cadillac's art and science aesthetic better. Upon its initial release, many people considered the Escalade to look nearly identical to GMC's Yukon Denali, which is probably the real reason for the change. If you like the way it appears on the outside, hold on. Don't go spending tens of thousands of dollars on one just yet, though. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety stated that in 2007 to 2008, Escalade models had the highest fatality rate. Since then, many changes have been made to add better protection to its riders. The Jaguar I-Pace 
Jaguar recently came out with its first pure electric model with the launch of the 2019 Jaguar I-Pace. This vehicle won the World Car Design of the Year, World Green Car of the Year, and also the World Car of the Year awards at the New York International Auto Show. Its MSRP runs at $69,500 and its horsepower reaches 394. Car and drivers say that the Jaguar's I-Pace set a new standard for luxury electric cars. This eco-friendly car also comes with the interesting quirk in the form of augmented spaceship style words that comes from the speakers. If that sound gets old, don't worry, there's an option to turn it off. Aston Martin DB9 Tap into your inner smooth talking spy by buying an Aston Martin. One of the most beloved brands from this company is the Aston Martin DB9. Aston Martin classifies this automobile as a GT, a Grand Tour, a car that was designed to go at high speeds and long distances as well as offer luxury to the driver. Aston Martin unveiled the DB9 at the 2003 Frankfurt Auto Show. A year later, the car went into production and continued until 2016. Although some reviews complain of not enough cargo space and smaller rear seats, critics praise the DB9 for its interior and exterior design. Bentley Continental Bentley Continental sounds like some high-class traveling penthouse suite. In a way, it is one. The newest Bentley Continentals can be customized and include natural wood grain, polished chrome, and leather seats that can come in one of 15 colors. The Bentley Continental came to be after World War II when Bentley decided that they wanted to resume making cars for civilians. The first Continental was produced in 1952, and since then, there have been several generations. Production halted in 1965 and did not resume until 1984. One of the most expensive units of this automobile, the 1952 R-Type Continental, sold for over $1 million in 2015. BMW 7 Series BMW stands for Bavarian Motor Works. BMW's logo originates from the white and blue pattern of the Bavarian flag. Many people mistake it being for the propellers of an airplane in the sky, but BMW only used this imagery in an advertisement from 1929. Their BMW 7 Series is a luxury sedan released in 1977. The sixth generation of this flagship car includes plug-in hybrid carriants, part of BMW's strategy to introduce a cleaner way to power all their future model cars. Kernenseg Agera Swedish manufacturer Kernenseg is famous for its high-performance sports cars. Compared to many of the companies on this list, they are quite young, only founded as far back as 1994. One of the most popular achievements is the Kernenseg Agera, the successor to the CCX. In Swedish, Agera means to act or you act. Top Gear named it the Hypercar of the Year in 2010 upon its unveiling. This car can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles an hour or 100 kilometers per hour in just 2.8 seconds. It can also retain a speed of 273 miles or 439 kilometers per hour. The Agera RS variant was considered the world's fastest production car of 2017. The Agera debuted at the 2011 Geneva Motor Show. Tesla Model 3 Elon Musk joined the Tesla board of directors in 2004, a year after its founding by Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpanin. They named the company after engineer Nikola Tesla, who would probably be proud of a car that we're about to talk about. Tesla unveiled their Model 3 sedan in 2016, and within a week, over 350,000 people made reservations for this car. The Tesla Model 3 is an all-electric vehicle. During its crash testing, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration gave it five stars in every category. In 2018, this sedan topped global sales of all plug-in electric cars. Toyota Century Toyota Motor Corporation, as many of you know, is based in Japan. It is the second largest automotive manufacturer and the sixth largest company in the world by revenue. When it comes to leading in sales, Toyota excels in hybrid electric cars, but let's step it back a bit. One of their oldest crowning achievements may not have been starting eco-friendly, but it sure is now. The Toyota Century was launched in 1967 and is currently produced today. The newer generations all operate on a hybrid electric system, so you can enjoy the luxury while harming the planet less. This four-door limousine was released on Sakichi Toyota's 100th birthday. Toyota is the father of Kichiro Toyota, the founder of the company. If you see one of these on the streets of Japan, pay attention. There could be a member of the Imperial House of Japan inside since the Toyota Century is their preferred car. The Lincoln Navigator Here is the last luxury SUV on the list. The Lincoln Navigator first arrived on the market in 1998. It may not be the tallest or the longest Lincoln ever made, but the Navigator is by far the heaviest production. There's no need to worry if all your family's luggage will fit inside this car. It will. The Navigator has the greatest cargo capacity of all the Lincolns and can seat more than six people. When the 1980s came to a close, America wanted more family vehicles, something bigger than a station wagon. The Range Rover appeared on the scene and took over the luxury SUV market. GM came after with their Oldsmobile Bravada and Ford with their Expedition, which the Navigator has a lot of aesthetics similar to. A few years later, Lincoln decided it was time for their Navigator. The Bentley Bentayga 
Back to Bentley. With this next one, we're discussing the Bentley Bentayga, a five-door luxury crossover SUV which was released in 2015. The name Bentayga comes from two inspirations. The first is the Highland Rock in Gran Canaria known as Rogue Bentayga. The second is the name Bentley combined with Tega, a type of snow forest in North America. Bentley probably didn't realize that Bentayga also means carried interest in Swahili. Up to seven people can ride in this vehicle which can drive at a top speed of 187 miles or 301 kilometers per hour. Models as of 2018 run on a V8 engine to increase its power and usability. We're almost at our number one, but before we reveal to you the top spot, we have a question for you. If you had all the money in the world, would you spend a lot of it on expensive cars or something else? If it's cars, which ones? If not, what would you purchase instead, and why? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And number one, the Maserati GT. The luxury brand Maserati was established in 1914. The company's tagline, luxury, sports, and style cast in exclusive cars, and it's a sentiment that appears to ring true in all their productions. Today we're talking about the GT. The first Maserati Gran Turismo debuted in 2007 at the Geneva Motor Show, and its production continues to this day. It has a drag coefficient of 0.33. For all of us that aren't science nerds, here's what that means. The drag coefficient of an object is a measurement that quantifies the resistance of that object in a fluid environment, i.e. air or water. The lower the coefficient, the less drag it has. Because the GT has a relative small number, it can easily reach high speeds, and does so in what many say is a comfortable ride. The Grand Cabrio MC, which was one of the first convertible versions of the GT, came out in 2012 and boasts an improved aerodynamics, going from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 4.9 seconds. 